Praise God. If you have your Bibles, we share some things on last Sunday from uh, St. Mark, the 16th chapter. Praise God. Amen. Amen. If you believe in doing things in decent and order, praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Unless someone do have a word for the church, we allow room for the word. Amen. 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 In Mark, the 16th chapter, when Jesus prepared to, to go away, matter of fact, he's already been resurrected, but he's going to go to be at the right hand of the Father. Amen. 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 But he left. He gave the church uh, uh, their great commission. Matter of fact, his disciples. Amen. And you know the early church started out with Peter on the day of Pentecost. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And it's good to have a strong, powerful, anointed church with the gifts flowing and operating in the body. How many know the body of Christ needs these gifts? Amen. And how many know that we need one another? Amen. Amen. Praise God. And we are our brother's keeper. Yes. Amen. When, they, when the enemy come in trying to peep his head up, we got to take authority. Amen. 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 It's not just to the five four, but it's to all of you. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Amen. So that's why, if anything, we need the discernment of the spirit. Amen. Amen. If you read the book in Luke and St. Mark, the 16th chapter, beginning at the 14th verse, and after he appeared unto the eleven. As they sat at meats and upbraided with their, un, with their unbelief from the hardness of heart, because they believed not them which had seen him after he was risen. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Yeah. It doesn't mean the fivefold ministry alone. It means everybody. Amen. Amen. If you are a born again believer, you that's your commission is to preach the gospel Amen. to all the world. Amen. Amen. Are you hearing me this morning? Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. And he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, and he that believeth not shall be damned. Amen. If you already confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, you are what? Saved. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Because yeah. we're going to talk about the other experience of the Holy Ghost. And he that believeth not is damned. And these signs shall follow them that what? Amen. Believe. So signs and warnings shall follow the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. In my name ye shall cast out what? Devils. They shall speak with what? New tongue. And that's what we want to deal with today. And they shall take a they shall take up serpent or drink any daily thing. It shall not what? Hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. And after then, and after then, after the Yahuwah has spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven and set on the right hand of Elohim. Amen? Amen. And you can read the rest. And they went forth. I like this. And they went forth. And preaching everywhere. The Yahoo working with them. And they were working with them. Signs and wonders was following them. And confirming the word with signs. What? Following. Amen. 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 So whenever the gospel is being preached, you can be seated. Praise God. And ask that you pray with them this morning as we begin to go forth in the word. And before that, they went on their mission. Praise God. Jesus told them what they should do. Amen. Even Jesus himself, and I know many of you are already filled with the Holy Ghost and many of you are already saved, then we should be operating in the kingdom of Elohim. We should already be operating in the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. Because that's our what? commission, to operate in the kingdom. Praise God. But before, if you would use something, Holy Ghost power. Amen. If you say Holy Ghost what? And power. Praise God. We have the authority. Amen. But many of us are not filled with the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Many of us are not feared. Not saying you're not saved, but we know you're not feared. Because anytime you're filled with the Holy Ghost, there's the evidence of speaking in another language. Amen. And I know you heard this teaching before and all of this, but nothing going back and rehearsing it. Because when we begin to move, we all should be moving in the things of God. Amen. And I just, it's so much that goes along when we get baptized in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Signs and warnings follow. The gifts are released through you to operate in the gift. Amen. Amen. To move in the kingdom of Elohim. Praise God. Amen. Let's go along now. Let's pray with me. Amen. Amen. But before Jesus, as he was teaching on the earth, even himself as being God in the flesh, he went to John to be baptized of John. And as he was being baptized, the Spirit descended upon him like a dove. Amen. Amen. And then he was prepared to go out and do a work. Before we can do a work for God, we must be anointed. Amen. Amen. Before we can do a work for Elohim, we must be anointed. Amen. Amen. Praise God. You have the power to use in the name of Jesus if you just born again and have sonship. But it's more that go along with being baptized in the Holy Spirit. You know, many of us, we are filled with the Holy Ghost, but we ever, we ever pray in our prayer language. Amen. Amen. Praise God. We ever, however, pray in our prayer language. You know, it's God give us that for a reason. 
Amen. Amen. He gave it to the body of Christ for a reason. Amen. Amen. Because he told them, when I go away, I'm going to send back the comforter. Right. He talked to them about that in St. John. Amen. But the most key thing of all, he did talk about love. Amen. Because you can be baptized in the Holy Ghost and be a cold-hearted person. Right. Or you can be a bitter person. But see, the Holy Ghost don't make us bitter. Amen. Don't make us cold-hearted. Right. Amen. It comes to help tenderize our heart. Amen. Amen. To show us our fault. To convict us of things in our lives. Amen. That's the purpose also of the Holy Ghost. Amen. But most of all, the Holy Ghost is to help us to be an effective witness for Him. Amen. How many have been witness to somebody this week? Amen. How many have been sharing the good news to somebody? Amen. You see, that was our great commission. Right. Praise God. And the church, we're kind of sleeping right now. We don't got relaxed, praise God. Amen. Amen. But it's time for us to step out of our comfort zone now right. and begin to go forth and do the work of Elu Him. Amen. Amen. Oh, praise God this morning. I was talking to my wife and I began to share some things with us. You know, the body of Christ has become selfish. We're only thinking about our own condition. We're only thinking about ourselves, what I'm going through. But if you ever go to the hospital and see somebody laying on the bed, praise God, can't even pick up a water, can't, get a, can't even lift their hand to get a drink of water, can't even lift their hand to feed themselves. Oh, praise God this morning. And you're talking about you going through something. Think about what they're going through. Praise God. Some of them right now have been diagnosed with certain condition in their life. And they are so afraid. They don't know if they know that if I don't get a cure, praise God, praise God, I'm going to die. I'm going to leave this world. And they're looking for a release in their life. Looking for somebody to come to give them a little hope this morning. They're looking for somebody to come just to lay hands on them. Or give them encouraging word that everything is going to be all right. Or do you believe in divine healing this morning? Oh, praise God this morning. But we're talking about working in the kingdom. We're talking about kingdom principles. This is kingdom principles here. Amen. Amen. God came demonstrating his power on the earth. He didn't come to set out, but he went out among them. See, we want to set back and want them to come to us. But God went out among them. He went seeking, praise God. In other words, he didn't have to go seek, but he made himself available. He put them, he put himself in a position where people could come to him. Amen. 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 That's all right. Praise Amen. God. You were here today anyway because God gave it to me. Amen. And I'm not talking to you. I'm talking about myself too. Praise God. See, we got every, we got time for everything else, but we don't have time for nobody else. And you're always crying, me, 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 and nobody else. I'm going through. I'm going through. They're never gonna keep you going through because He don't want you to operate in kingdom principles. Amen. He want to keep your mind all bottled up. Focus on your situation. Focus on what I don't have. And we quick to cry, I don't have this, and I don't know what's going on. Get out yourself. Lay yourself aside and think about the goodness of somebody else. I don't know why I'm here, but God sent me here. I don't know why I'm here, but God sent me here. If you get there, God will show you what your purpose of being there for. Oh, praise God this morning. Sometimes people put you in their spirit and they give you a call. And they'll tell you, my wife and I was talking and she said, well, we begin to talk about some things. A lot of time when God puts somebody in you, when they're on your, when they're on their spirit, praise God, they call you. It's not that you are troubled with anything you're not going through. It could be they are going through. Amen. 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 And that's what I'm running when people say, you know, you was in my spirit. And I say, everything is well. But if you begin to let them talk for a little while and keep the communication going on, they'll begin to tell you what's going on in their lives. Then you can turn around and begin to intercede for them. And sometimes God will give you a word of wisdom, a word of knowledge. Or sometimes you can discern things in the Holy Ghost of what's going on. That's the purpose of being anointed. Amen. Amen. Well, here are the disciples of Jesus. If you go to Matthew 10, as he was teaching them. See, the Holy Ghost had not yet come. See, the Holy Ghost had not yet come, but he was already upon him. Amen. Amen. And he had the power to breathe on them. See, because the Holy Ghost had not yet come, he would breathe on them like he did with the old patriarch. When he prepared them to go do a work. You would breathe upon. You had to receive you had to receive it on the inside. Amen. 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 So this is what we should be doing. 
See, he let them got a glimpse of what the kingdom was all about. And how he wanted them to demonstrate what he was teaching them. See, you can't sit in here and a this anointing, a word of this ministry, and signs and wonders don't follow because we talk about it. Amen. When we preach the gospel about signs and wonders shall follow that believe, we expect them to happen. Amen. 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 If we talk about the filling of the Holy Ghost, we believe somebody's going to get filled. Amen. If we believe that we believe in casting out demons, somebody's going to get a demon cast out of all of them. Amen. If we believe in divine healing, the signs and wonders of Father that believe, this is the gospel that we believe, Amen. praise God, and this good news, somebody's going to get healed. Amen. 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 And if you're hurt and broken hearted, and the anointing is in the house, Amen. you will get healed of your broken heartness. Amen. If you don't get healed because you just release yourself to God. Amen. That's right. Amen. 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 But here he dealt with his disciples. He told them, he said, when he had called unto him the twelve disciples, and he, and, and he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of diseases. You see what I'm saying? Amen. So we should be able to lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Yeah. If they believe, amen. Because this is a faith walk, amen. Yeah. See, when you start talking about certain things, about disease or sickness or certain things, you're going to be tried too. <laughs> amen. amen. Even myself, I'm believing God for something. Amen. And you know, the more I believe God, the more I preach and teach on like the enemy try to fight me with it. Amen. Oh, come on now. Amen. amen. But I let the devil know you have no authority over this house. Amen. I just made it on my another day. I said, live or die, I'm going to be, I'm going to be with God anyway. Amen. Are you hearing me? Praise God. But I don't want to leave with something going on in my body. See, I want to go to heaven pure because there ain't no sickness in heaven. Ain't no disease in heaven. Ain't no broken heart in heaven. Praise God. I want to leave with joy and peace and good health. Amen. That's what I want to leave with. Amen. Amen. Ah, oh, praise God. That's all right. Amen. 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 See, that's the way I want to go. Amen. See, you don't have to die and go and be sick to go with me to the Lord. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. 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 But we have to stand on the word. Amen. 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 Show you will be tried by your faith. Amen. Your faith is going to be tried. Yeah. But the greater one on the inside, praise God, will help you to cause you to be strengthened in your belief. Amen. 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 Praise God. Because he is our strengthener. Amen. But if you go to Luke to 14, I mean the 4 and 18, Jesus prepared the disciples and let us know we have to be prepared. Amen? Amen. You have to be prepared to do the work of God. Because if you try to do it in your flesh, you will get tired. Amen? Amen. You will get worn down. Yes. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. What is it? Luke 14 and 8. Luke 4 and 18. Talking about the anointing, the Holy Ghost. Are you there? Amen. After Jesus got up, he began to share this word in the synagogue. Huh? He was letting them know that the spirit of Yahweh is upon me. Because he has anointed us. 